it's a rabbit one of a place and the police and all the, the house officials are really excellent at spotting people like me who obviously look naive and fresh and lost and telling them where to go so I'm grateful to them. I think I'll never find my way around there actually. Charles Kennedy is duly elected the leader of the Liberal Democrats. I pledge to you today that I'm going to stand up above all else for social justice. We have to give voice to the disadvantaged and dispossessed because those voices are not being heard by new Labour, that's for sure. Given the events at the United Nations in New York yesterday, where they spoke, today across the world the people are speaking and the Prime Minister and the President have got to start listening. I'm standing down as leader with immediate effect. It's essential, in my view, that we have a new democratically elected leader in place as soon as possible. So do you think all bankers should be locked up, Charles? Go on, say yeah. Just say yes. <laughs> on the one hand and on the other... <laughs> the, the, it's a bit stupid for David Cameron to suggest this. I mean, he hasn't got anywhere to put them for a start, and probably most of them were voting Tory in the first place, weren't they, Jeremy? <laughs> I don't know, I can't understand Scottish when it's the other no, no, no. <laughs> I can't. Most of them were what? Voting? Tory. Tory. No, don't understand. No, no. <laughs> don't worry, Jeremy, most people watching this in Scotland can't understand voting Tory either. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very fond of political history. And tonight, if nothing else, we can all consider and reflect in years to come Perhaps tell our grandchildren we were there the night of the long skiing dues.